Hey guys, real quick, I wanted to share a very good rehab exercise for the back. Uh, I pulled mine like seven weeks ago, and for several weeks, it just hurt, it just hurt, 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 and I could barely bend over. You know, if I, if I try to pick something up, I'd have to like use my hand, you know, for support, basically. I feel like, old, feel like an old freaking man, you know, freaking elderly, elderly ass. Fragile ass man. <laughs> but uh, I remembered from my exercise science days uh, the name Dr. Stuart McGill, okay, the spine expert. I uh, wrote all kinds of books and stuff, you know, just done all kinds of research on rehab rehabilitation and strengthening of the spine. And one exercise I found from him. Uh, that I thought was awesome after I tried it was the catcher squat, as he calls it, because it looks like a baseball catcher, I guess. You know, the hands and the knees like this. Of course, I guess they're a lot lower than that. I don't know. I don't watch fucking baseball. <laughs> I, don't live in, I don't live in fucking New York or whatever. But, uh, <laughs> who watches? Does anybody watch baseball other than people? from like, I don't know, Boston or like New York. Who the fuck watches baseball? I feel like nobody watches baseball in the South. It's all football, American football, right? Anyway, going off on tangents. Now, this catcher squat, which essentially is a upper body supported hip hinge, she goes like this. And you can use as much support and push for the arms as necessary to get into this like range of motion to help you out. Put the hands on the thighs, stand up nice and straight, shoulders down, and glide down your thighs to your knees, and come back up. Glide down, glide up. Just like this. Okay? And when I first started doing this, my knees were kind of tracking forward, which is fine. My posterior chain was just kind of, you know, out of commission <laughs> from that injury. But eventually I was able to kind of keep my knees back and do it more like this. Okay, so instead of this, I was able to do this eventually. Okay, then once that felt pretty good, I noticed day after day, I did do this exercise daily, one set of 10 or so every few hours. I found as the days went by, I would have to use Less, I would not have to use as much force through the arms, okay? I could kind of just glide them very lightly instead of actually like pressing, pressing because my back is so weak I can't even freaking hinge <laughs> from the hips. I'll just glide them nice and easy. And I can even move pretty quick or get into like a deeper range of motion. And then after maybe like, I don't know, a week, I could just like do a regular freaking hip hinge. You know, no problem. Uh, and from there, you know, I can add weight. I've been doing light deadlifts uh, using the Thomas H trainer anyway. So I'm kind of just rehabbing, re strengthening uh, via that. Okay, just. Part of my regular training now. So, the Kexure Squat. Give it a try. It pretty much solved my, my back pain issues. I still wake up in the morning with a little bit of pain, but it goes away quickly once I start moving around. Uh, way, way better than like a week ago when I woke up and I was like, I can't even fucking move. <laughs> and I'm just stuck in my bed for several minutes trying to like stretch out. Now I can just like pop out of bed, no problem. Say, oh, I'm a little sore. Walk around, take a piss, drink some water. Already feeling normal again. Okay, so <laughs> very, very useful exercise. God, it's freaking hot in here, dude. Oh, I'm like sweating my ass off. <laughs> the AC doesn't run this little side office. I have this uh, this window unit, but I don't want to turn it on because it's Freaking louder than a train. <laughs> that old school AC. Anyway, y'all take care.
Uh, hopefully you don't have back pain, but if you do, try that freaking Kexer Squad. Another thing I did uh, is I have a massage gun. And I just massage the crap out of my spinal erectors and my glutes and my hamstrings. Okay, and if you don't have that, like before I bought that thing, uh, I would use I would use this. <laughs> The frog, remember that from the bullies in like middle school? <laughs> we used to just freaking punch each other with like the joint of the thumb all the time to, I don't know, cause severe pain for a few seconds. <laughs> Kids are so weird, man, especially. I don't know, is that a southern thing? I, I don't really know. We're a 90s thing. I'm a kid from the 90s. We just tortured each other for no reason, <laughs> for fun. Uh. <laughs> but I would use that. And just dig that joint of the thumb into my spinal erectors, glutes, you know, whatever, any kind of muscle. It's a good thing to use if you don't have any kind of, you know, expensive tools like a massage gun. They cost like a hundred freaking dollars nowadays. Ridiculous. Anyway, I'm rambling at this point. Y'all take care. Take care of your back. Peace.